Good morning, traders. It's a little painful to see ABIL doing what it's doing because I lost three times on it. And you're saying, how in the world could you lose three times on this? I have no clue. I mean, I, I literally knew exactly what was going to happen. I, I saw all this happening. I just could not get a good entry. Uh, and then I just cut my losses too quickly. I just got scared out. Honestly, I was flying all night. I have jet lag. I probably had two hours of sleep. I got flies flying around my head this whole time I'm trading. That's not helping. But yeah, I mean, it was a little painful that, that I, I'm down $200 when I saw this happening perfectly. I should be up a lot. Um, but at the same time, we have momentum back. We got volume in the market. This is exciting to see because that means tomorrow, the next day, next week, we can start sizing into some of these plays because no one's going to want to miss the next one. Uh, but I hope you guys learned something. Uh, please don't make me feel any worse in the comments section for losing on ABIL. Guys, and I think we got some good volume back. This is unbelievable. I didn't jump into this. Um, honestly, I'm a little loopy. I only got a couple hours of sleep last night. I don't feel sharp, so I'm being a little patient. But this is unbelievable. This thing is gapping up a good amount, and we're still getting good follow-through uh, momentum on it. Now, we're starting to see a couple upper shadows at 560. That's not good. That means this thing's probably going to come back down at least to the VWAP at 512. See if that happens. Okay, I'm in at 529. I don't want it to crack below that VWAP. You know, I wanted to get in around 525, so I, I pushed it, getting in at 529. I want to see a lot more volume coming in on the buying side right here. It's not. Okay, I'm getting out. $50 loss. Just wanted to see a lot more buying volume coming in right there. It wasn't. You know, I do like it around these levels. Let me try to get another entry. Filled me 500 shares. And yeah, bids are looking a little weak. But this is right at support. So, ah, shoot, guys. Mm, I had to cut it right there. I was trying to get in right at the bottom support and ride it back up. Okay, that's two losses on ABIL. Trying to, trying to get it at support. It's just not working out. Look, this is pretty frustrating, guys. I get in. It has a big sell-off, tons of sellers, and then it goes all the way down to 509, then pops right back above the VWAP. Now it's going to curl back up. Man. So as you can see, you know, I, ha I have the right idea trying to get in around this level. It was just a little premature my first entry, and my second one, you know, it cracked and then popped right back up. Got all the way back up to 550. Here's the good news. There's still some potential to, to get a good entry on this. Because look at this green volume. This green volume is good. It's faded off. And we know green volume is going to come back because the people who missed this first initial push are going to come back in a little bit later. Well, guys, I'm at this Airbnb. I haven't met the host yet because we got in so late. And all of a sudden, these dogs just came out giving me some comfort in my time of need. Okay, let's talk about my entries. Uh, obviously, this first pullback here should have been what I was getting in on around five bucks. D I missed that. Doji Star 560. Okay, it's obvious it's coming back down. Tried to get in near the VWAP. Got in a little premature on the first one. Didn't want to miss it. Then the second one, you know, I timed my entry better, and then it cracked down beneath the VWAP pretty hard, and then just bounced strong. It's kind of crazy. I just don't know if I want to trade this again. You know, this is a good pattern. Okay, I'm getting in it again. <sighs> Guys, oh my god. Because I'm seeing these patterns, I'm just not trading it well. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that just is not the stock for me. I see this one really breaking through 550. I really do. It's just not working out for me, you know? ABIL is a lot like Dane and X. Your ex is always trying to pull you back in, lure you back in, but it just never works out. They never learn how to lift the toilet seat up after using the restroom for, the, for us guys. Just never works. Because <laughs> like, I want to get another entry on it, you know? I keep wanting to get another entry on it, like right around here, right around these levels. I'm just really apprehensive to play this because every time I get into it, it doesn't work out. I definitely see a 560 break coming. Absolutely. I don't know how to do this to myself. I like how this time, though, it's been 
kind of consolidating right below 560 rather than hitting it and just shooting straight back down like these huge upper shadows right here. You know what I mean? It looks like it's going to get it right here. Yep. This is insane. Okay, guys, that's a perfect descending triangle uh, breakout pattern right here. You got your 560 resistance and you have higher lows. It's it's crazy how I saw this and I'm, and I'm losing money on it. Isn't that crazy? Do I not give these stocks enough room to run out? I don't know. That's probably it. I probably didn't give them enough room. When a stock doesn't go in the direction I want it to go, I cut very quickly. This is a good telltale sign that you're going to get a ton of volume like we did down here. Through over 300,000 shares of volume coming in at the break of 560 when you're consolidating right around that level of resistance at 560. I should have jumped in with it. I don't like playing breaker resistance though. But today's the day. I mean, volume is back. We are good to go. Playing the bull flag on MTSL, making back 50 bucks. Used to scalping these things because the market over the last few weeks has been so bad that I'm just used to getting in and getting out. I gotta start changing that. Gotta start scaling out. These flies are driving me crazy, guys. The reason I'm outside is this Airbnb. You gotta be quiet till 8 a.m. It's 7, 12 a.m. right here, right now. All right, down 81 bucks now. <clears throat> you see this trend line here? This is its daily trend line that it's on from here all the way up to this point. It got really squeezed together right there. <sighs> it filled 100 shares, guys. 100 shares. I'm trying to get into this because it's on the trend line and I get filled 100 shares. It's been playing with my emotions all day. I would be so green on the day if like my orders would actually go through. Okay guys, no more flies. Look at this move I missed though. I placed a limit order, I'm pretty sure it's like 638. It was the highest bid right there. So you guys see this volume right here, that's what you want to look for. Over 300,000 volume again. So that's very similar to earlier on right here with this breakout of 560 and in the morning. It's what you want to look for. At least matching volume on previous breakouts. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned something. Uh, if you want to continue to see somebody lose up very predictable and easy setups, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> but on a real note, you know, I'm about to size in. It, this market is getting hot again. Bulls are coming in today on ABIL. You know, this is exciting. Whether I, whether I lost money or not, this is good news. And tomorrow I'm going to be prepared for this. I'm going to be sizing in and we're going to make some good money. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, guys.